Hi, this is TJR for Music Worth Buying, and this week saw the re-release of Led Zeppelin's Physical Graffiti. Um, this is part of the Led Zeppelin re-release series. All the albums are being re-released in chronological order, and um, they're being released in different formats. Uh, just like all my previous reviews on these re-releases, I'm centering on the deluxe editions. These are the most common editions I think most people will want to get. Uh, you can, of course, buy the album in just a standard format where it's just the album. You can buy the deluxe edition where you get a bonus CD. And of course, then there's some super deluxe editions and vinyl editions as well. And primarily with these reviews, I'm focusing on the audio quality of the remastering and the uh, bonus disc of new tracks. Now, with this edition of Physical Graffiti, I'm happy to say uh, that there is a noticeable difference in the audio quality between this and previous releases. Uh, generally, my fear with these types of remasters is that they're just going to make it louder. They're not going to really do anything else but make it louder. And at first, when it pops out of your speakers, you get this impression of going, oh, wow, that sounds really great, when really all they did was just make it a little louder. I don't think that's the case here. I think they really have done a good job of increasing... Um, the quality of the recording, letting you hear more nuance, letting you hear more subtleties. I think they have done an improvement on that, so I'm really glad for that. Now, one thing I won't be talking about is the actual music on the album itself. There's no need for that. This album stood the test of time. We all know it's a good album. I don't think you'd be watching this review if it wasn't. Uh, I would, however, at some point like to do an in-depth analysis of it, like I have done with some previous Zeppelin albums and some other albums as well on Classic Album Replay. Um, Physical Graffiti is probably my favorite of all the Led Zeppelin albums. I love its ambition. I love its scope. I feel like uh, this is really their Sgt. Pepper album. So let's discuss the bonus disc now. Now, the previous Zeppelin releases, um, we kind of saw a pattern where there was uh, an equal amount of bonus tracks uh, to the ratio of tracks that were on the original album. Uh, I kind of wondered if with Physical Graffiti, if we weren't going to get, for the deluxe edition, a four-disc set, you know, two discs of supplemental material for the two discs that made up the original album. Uh, not so in this case. Um, we are just getting one bonus disc uh, with seven tracks. Of course, I guess they would have had to have charged an awful lot more if it had been a four-disc version. Uh, so let's get to these tracks. Um, there's some cool things uh, included. Uh, first is uh, track one, Brandy and Coke, which is a sparser version of Trampled Underfoot. Uh, this is the same performance that we get from the album, but with less effects on Robert Plant's voice, which is cool because we get to hear more of the rawness in his voice. I kind of like being able to hear that. There are also less guitar overdubs as well. With these earlier rough mixes, a lot of times what we get to hear is what Jimmy Page's contribution was as a producer. Um, the way he would layer on a lot of additional guitars and layer on different types of effects to create the sound of these albums. Um, I don't think his role as producer can be underestimated in how well made these albums were. Now, the next track is a Sick Again early version. Uh, once again, now this is not an early rough mix. Uh, this is the song as a work in progress. Here we have a shorter version of the song without vocals and with a cleaner guitar tone than what Jimmy Page ended up using. It's an interesting contrast from what was finally used. Uh, track three, In My Time of Dying, parentheses initial rough mix, uh, is just that. The same performance with just an earlier mix of the song. Uh, cut out of this version is Robert Plant's final cough line at the end and a little bit of banner that follows on the final version. Um, not too much of a big difference between this and the final version. Um, just a little rougher around the edges, that's about it. Um, up next is Houses of the Holy Rough Mix. Uh, once again, another early mix of the same performance that became the final version. Some of Jimmy Page's guitar overdubs are missing, and once again, there is less presence on Robert Plant's voice. I liked hearing this for the same reason that I liked hearing Brandy and Coke. Um, finally... Uh, we come to the real gem of this bonus disc. Uh, this is entitled Everybody Makes It Through, parentheses, In the Light, slash, In Transit. With this track, we get the song that will eventually become In the Light. It starts with a very macabre harpsichord introduction from John Paul Jones and some completely different lyrics by Robert Plant. This pairing of Robert Plant's vocals and John Paul Jones's uh, 
harpsichord playing is absolutely chilling to hear. It really sends a chill up my spine. Love hearing it. One minute and 15 seconds in and suddenly Paige enters with one of the signature guitar riffs from In the Light and Plant continues with different lyrics. Who knows why Led Zeppelin chose to abandon this track. It's a great track, but I am glad that it has been resurrected here in this deluxe edition. It's a real treat to hear. The more I listen to it, the more it feels like a Zeppelin track that was released by the band in an alternate universe. Now, uh, track six, uh, Boogie with Stu, Sunset Sound Mix. This is an alternate mix from the one that made it on the album. This version is noticeably different from the album version. It prominently features a mandolin during the opening, which on the final version uh, doesn't come until much later in the song. I think they made the right call going for the version that plays up John Paul Jones's piano instead. Still, it's interesting to hear this alternate version. Uh, last, uh, track number seven, Driving Through Kashmir, parentheses, Kashmir Rough Orchestra Mix. Um, once again, this is an earlier mix of the performance that we got on the album. Kashmir is one of my favorite songs of all time, not just Led Zeppelin, but one of my favorite songs of all time. Uh, but I got no real insights from listening to this earlier mix, and sadly, it seems like the least necessary bonus track on this deluxe edition. And now the deluxe edition sells for $18.88 on Amazon right at this moment in time. The regular edition sells for $16.88. The regular edition is just the album, so it's a no-brainer. Spend the extra two bucks for the extra disc. So this wraps up my uh, look at the uh, deluxe edition of Led Zeppelin's Physical Graffiti. Overall, I'm feeling pretty positive about it, and I think a lot of it has to do with just uh, the positive vibes I got from listening to the remastering of the original album. So please uh, leave your comments about this album. If you've listened to the deluxe edition, if you've listened to the bonus disc and the remastering, please let us know what you think of it. And let us know what you think of the vinyl edition or the super deluxe edition if you've had a chance to check out those. I uh, would love to hear what you think about that. For Music Worth Buying, this is TJR. You can find out more about my music at tjrmusic.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.